Hey guys, Mitch here. Today I'll be showing you how to downgrade from iOS 6.0 to iOS 5.1.1. Now this is the latest version of iOS 6, it is the public release, and we will be downgrading to 5.1.1 on all A4 devices. Now this is for the iPhone 4, 3GS, and the iPod Touch 4th generation. So first off, make sure that your device is on version number 6.0 and that it is plugged into your computer. Then we'll be putting our device into DFU mode, so to do this, hold the power and the home button for 10 seconds. And then once that 10 seconds has gone up, you can let go of the power, keeping the home button held in for an additional 5 to 10 more seconds. On our computer, make sure you have the latest version of Red Snow, your 5.1.1 IPSW, and your SHSH blobs. If you don't have them saved on your computer, we can get them off of Cydia. Open up Red Snow. Make sure your device is in DFU mode, go to Extras, and go to SSH Blobs, and then Stitch. Now we want to browse for our IPSW firmware on our computer, so this is the 5.1.1 firmware, and then the Blobs. If you do have them saved on your computer, you can find them by going into the Local section, or if Cydia did save them, you can hit the Remote. So if they are saved on your computer, you can hit Local, and right there they are. Or, if you do want to find them off of Cydia, you can just hit Remote, and it will fetch the blobs from the Cydia server, and it will be loading up the new IPSW. Now, this will be combining your 5.1.1 IPSW with the blobs, creating a new firmware that allows you to downgrade from iOS 6 to 5.1.1. So, the blob stitching has been completed here, and it will show you where it has been saved. In this case, mine is saved right on my computer here, so I can easily bring it over and add it to the bunch here. So, right now it is blocked out for security purposes, but you can see we do have our new IPSW firmware. So, open up Red Snow again, make sure it is in DFU mode, go to Extras, and go to the Pwned DFU mode. Now you will be needing this so that iTunes can actually detect your custom IPSW and then it will load it up. In iTunes it will detect that it is in recovery mode. You can go ahead and click OK and hold down Option key and click Restore. Now you want to browse for that custom firmware that you did create using your 5.1.1 firmware and the SHSH blobs. Once you have that selected, you can go ahead and open it up, and it will extract the software with iTunes. Now, as it is extracting here, it will be restoring, and you more than likely will encounter a minus one error. On your iPhone, you will see that it says connect to iTunes with the USB cord. Now, this is normal because it is a change in the basement or the modem firmware. Open up Red Snow again, go to Extras, and click the Recovery Fix. Now we will have to put our device back into DFU mode, so to do that hold the top and the bottom for 10 seconds. And then once that 10 seconds has gone up, you can let go of the power, keeping the home button, and it will be exploiting with the Lime Rain exploit here. Now this may seem like it is a jailbreak process because you will see the lines of code going down through your device along with the pineapple logo popping up, but Red Snow does play an important role in downgrading from iOS 6 to iOS 5.1.1. It will be uploading the RAM disk on your device, the kernel, and then it will be rebooting. On your device here, it will restore to iOS 5.1.1, and you should see the welcoming screen. So I'll go through the installation here, we'll go through our country, we will enable location services here, next, plug in our Wi-Fi network information, continue with that and we'll set up our device as a new iPhone and just to remind you guys this works for all A4 devices only so that includes the iPhone 4, 3GS and the iPod Touch 4th generation here and you will be able to perform a untethered jailbreak now using Absinthe or Red Snow on your iOS 5.1.1 device here so I will show you that I am on iOS 5.1.1 by going to General and About, and you should see that my version number is 5.1.1. So guys, if you have any questions, leave them down below, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Thanks, guys.